up guys? So as you can see my hair looks pretty horrible today and I thought we should do something about it to get there. So I thought I'd make a little tutorial for y'all for like what I do when my hair looks like this and I can't be bothered washing it. So what I'm going to use for this look is a Batiste Dry Shampoo XXL Volume which is my all time favorite. It, I use it literally every single day. It's perfect. And another new tip I have for you guys is the Batiste Dry Conditioner. This is the dry shampoo, this is dry conditioner. And it's really really good because it kind of just does what conditioners do. It uh, like... I don't really know how to explain it, but you guys know what I mean. It kind of makes the hair less tangled and less gross. But it does not... The dry shampoo in this does not work as well as in this. So I always combine them because it's shampoo and conditioner. I'm also going to use this uh, super extra strong hairspray. Which this is the one I've used my entire life. It's really good. And also a bandana if you want to use that. It really helps to keep everything in place. So I'm going to be using that. And a teasing brush. And some rubber bands. And a shitload of bobby pins. So let's get started! First, you're gonna want to spray your hair with a dry conditioner if you have one. If you don't, then you should probably skip this step. And then comes the dry shampoo, yeah! This is really great and it helps make the hair kind of stay in place -y. So if you have dry shampoo, I suggest you use it now! Then you're gonna want to section off the front top part of your hair. I'm not so good with hair terms, so I'm just going to try to explain what I'm doing. <laughs> Make sure you get a good chunk right on top of your head. This is the mohawk part that we're going to work with. Then take the top section of the hair that is left on your head and put it into a high ponytail. Now you're going to want to start teasing. You take the furthest back part of the top section and you start teasing on the back side of that part. <laughs> you're welcome for all these technical terms. And then when you've teased it, you're going to want to spray it a little. Spray it hold and then gently fold it backwards and then you keep doing this until you've gone through the entire section of hair the point is to make it look kind of like a mohawk You can also tease the top part of your ponytail to kind of blend these two sections together a little. Now you want to take the remaining parts of your hair and put them into two separate ponytails. You can also add some dry shampoo to make it easier to work with. Now you're going to want to start collecting all the hair on top of your head. So it got, kind of looks like a mess probably, but you want to take the bobby pins and start pinning everything down. And you get to kind of design your own mohawk here. I just put the bobby pins in where I feel that they belong. I also put one bobby pin on top of my head to keep everything in place. This also kind of marks the spot where the bandana will be tied. And just like you did with the first ponytail, you can also tease the top of the other two ponytails to blend them into the mix of hair. And then you take your bandana and tie it hard on top of your head so it doesn't fall off. 
can also use bobby pins to keep it in place if you'd like. And we're finally done! That wasn't too hard, there's just a lot of teasing and spraying and teasing and spraying and bobby pinning. So I hope you kind of got what I was doing. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below to keep up to date on everything I do. And if you have requests for videos, do not hesitate to ask. Leave a comment below and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Until next time, have a very good one and I'll see you later.